You know yourself and how you learn best. This isn't a video of me just telling you how to learn. Instead, I want to point out some things that may help you get the most out of this course based on how this course is structured. Think of this course as having two courses into one. The first part, right over here, is the non-technical aspects of the interview. These are the skills that you will use throughout your career to get a leg up from the competition and make sure that you are able to optimize your chances of getting a well-paid job that you love. We're going to be talking about how to get more interviews and talk about all these topics right over here. We will also talk about non-technical interview questions, the most common questions that we get asked in an interview and how to overcome them. And then finally, talk about offer and negotiation, an often overlooked skill where we talk about how to handle offers and even negotiate a raise. The second part of the course is all technical. This is the really fun part of the course where we learn fundamental computer science topics that get asked at some of the top companies. And don't let this diagram intimidate you. By the end of the course, you're going to master all these topics. We're going to learn about data structures like arrays, stacks, trees, graphs, and then specific ones like priority queues, binary search tree, doubly linked list. We're going to learn about algorithms, how to traverse a tree and a graph, how to use recursion properly, how to improve time complexity and big O notation, how do we do sorting, perhaps even searching, all with the goal to help us write better code and answer interview questions. One of my favorite sections here is when we're going to take you through a Google interview and demonstrate each piece of the puzzle so that by the end of it all, you're able to answer really difficult questions as if you were part of that interview. By the end of it, you're going to feel confident in any coding interview or whiteboard interview. At the end, we're also going to have a ton of questions for you to do on top of the ones that we're going to do together from all these companies plus specific questions, whether you want to be a front-end engineer or a back-end engineer. So you have three options with this course. If you want, you can just do each course separately and that is fine. However, the course is structured in a way that these two courses are ordered to make you understand the topic build the fundamentals, and really connect the dots on interviewing. So to get the most out of this course, you should follow the lessons in order since you may gain an insight or two, even if you thought, oh, leave me alone, Andre. I already know this stuff. So now that you have an idea of the outline, let's talk about what it means to succeed in this course. First, make sure you use our online Discord community to communicate with fellow students ask questions, and talk about anything you may want when it comes to interviews. There's nothing better than talking out loud and practicing in front of people or with others. I'm also active every day on this community. The second part, these exercises get harder and harder in each section. They will challenge you and make you really extend your abilities as a developer. This is done on purpose. We're going to be building our foundation throughout the course and do challenging problems so that when it comes to real interviews, you find things easy. Although I walk you through the solutions, I encourage you to use available resources to solve the answer. Think of it this way. If someone offered you $10,000 bonus to study interview questions for a month, would you do it? That is what you're doing practicing for this. By working hard and practicing what most people don't do, interviewing, you're putting yourself in a higher salary position for the rest of your life. The third point, I know it sounds silly, but it's important. Anytime you feel like you're just watching a video and aren't understanding a topic, stop what you're doing and take a break. Come back to the problem. You won't be able to finish this course in one week. If you do it properly, it will take you about one month to finish everything in here. So take your time. This isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Finally, Try to complete the full course instead of just parts of it. Most lessons are tied into one from another so that they flow and we keep building this pyramid of knowledge. We'll start from basic and get into more and more advanced topics. All right, I think it's time for us to start the course and get prepared to land our dream job. Let's get started 
and see you in the next section. Bye-bye.